We are a society that burns the candle at both ends, a nation where people stay up all night to study, to work, or sometimes just to have fun. However, going without sleep carries with it both short as well as long-term consequences. So why don't people get enough sleep? Well, some people are stressed. Some may have age-related sleep problems, or they may work odd hours like I do, second or third shifts. The wear and tear on my body after days without sleep served as my personal wake-up call. While watching News 2 several weeks ago, you saw and heard this. Yeah, all that equals millions of dollars, and as Tracy Fox tells us, it's right in the middle of the country's worst recession since the 30s. But behind the scenes, you have no idea. Uh, oh, I was like a lab rat working three until midnight at the TV station, debt and, taxes. and then home for a few hours. For 36 hours straight, I had to keep moving, doing housework at home like mopping and ironing, and anchoring the evening newscast so that I can see how my brain functions without sleep. I knew before beginning this sleep latency test that like many people, I wasn't getting enough sleep. I was averaging about three to four hours of sleep a night. But was I really sleep deprived? A lot of Americans and people around the world are walking around with an un met sleep requirement. Dr. Toby Dawson, the machine behind Roper St. Francis's sleep clinic, says millions of people risk failure rather than admit they need sleep. And they cope with feeling sleepy by being physically active, by taking caffeine products, by um, giving them, putting themselves in stimulating environments, and by high motivation. I mean, basically the professional today, such as yourself, is a highly motivated person and wants to get things done. And here's the proof people ignore the signs they need more rest. A Harvard report cites the catastrophic accidents such as the Exxon Valdez oil spill, the nuclear incidents at Chernobyl and Three Mile Island, and the explosion of the space shuttle Challenger. After going a day and a half with no shut eye, so this is my room. I checked into the Roper St. Francis Sleep Clinic. We time exactly how long it takes you to fall asleep. As Nurse Susan Markham attaches these electrodes to my scalp, I'm give you, little strands up you can see how quickly I doze off. I'm finally allowed to crawl into bed for a 20-minute videotape nap. That's great. Yes. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. It doesn't take long before the sleep team is watching my brain activity. We can see that. There's a, there's a visual change. Finally, news that literally wakes me up. One minute. I fell into REM, the deepest level of sleep, within 60 seconds. During a second test, I was in REM, or rapid eye movement sleep, within 90 seconds. It should have taken 10 to 15 minutes to fall asleep. It's a wake up and a shake up. As a healthy adult, I need about seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Children need about eight to 12. The study proved what my body was already telling me, that a lack of sleep not only risks my job, my health, and my judgment, it also jeopardizes the people all around me. Now, let's take a look at the impact of a lack of sleep on health. People who walk around sleepy may battle obesity, diabetes, hypertension or high blood pressure, and alcohol-related issues. They may also be moody and have respiratory problems because of a compromised immune system. If you would like to find out if you are sleep deprived, you can take the National Sleep Foundation's quiz in the medical section of our website. Just go to countonto.com. Interesting stuff, Carolyn. Thank you very much.